Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Petros Fore. In this computer science video, you will learn about logic gates and circuits. This is a very important concept as all electronic devices use this platform of gates. We'll start off by asking ourselves, what is it that we call a logic gate? So the first thing that we need to understand is when we talk about logic gates, we are looking at decisions. These decisions are based on true or false, on or off, zero and one. Why do we need gates? As I have already indicated, a computer system understands binary language. I have done a video on the channel about binary number systems. I highly recommend you watch this video as it helps you to know how binary systems work. Throughout this video, we will look at six main gates. These are the main standard gates that are used in most electronic systems. We are going to be looking at the NOT gate, then the AND gate, ALL gate, not end gate and the not all gate and finally the exclusive all gate for us to understand how gates operate it is important that i introduce you to what we call the truth table as we are going to be using these um, gates you will be asked in some instances to find out or to tabulate the truth table of a logic circuit in this you will be asked to refer to the concept that when you are given input or different inputs for example if you are having one input into a gate you actually have two possible outcomes and this is on or off then when you have two inputs you will have four possible outcomes and these are you can have both switches are off or one is on and the other one is off and vice versa then you can have both being on so for any number of inputs that you are given the possible outcomes are an equivalent of 2 to the power of n we are going to start looking at the not gate the not gate from the word not not simply means the opposite so it gives us the opposite of what was input so if current is input as an on on this type of a gate if we get on, then we will get our output as off. When we get our input as off, our output will be an on. This is a very important gate and normally it is the one which is used in fire alarm systems. When the fire alarm system is working, it is on the on switch. So it is activated. But when you break the circuit, that's when the fire alarm sound or bell goes off so that is because it is designed using the not gate the not gate has a symbol that looks like what we are seeing here so this is the symbol of the not gate you do have a triangular a triangle like shape with an oiled end and we have a stretch there so every time you see a gate that looks like this just know that this is a not gate the truth table of a not gate has two inputs so when it is one then the output will be a zero when the input is a zero the output is a one so this is on then output is off and the opposite when it is off the output is a one the notation what we call the logic notation of this gate is represented in the form that x is equal to not a you have to know for each gate that you're going to be looking at what is the symbol of the gate and also the truth table the logic notation and finally we have the boolean expression so the boolean expression is how you may find this gate presented in this case it's x is equal to not a i highly recommend you just remember to say x is equal to not a so you simply write the a add a bar on top every time you see this expression just to know that this is an expression that is representing the NOT gate. We are going to move to the AND gate. So the AND gate is a gate that only gives us 
a one when both inputs are one so when we are having a not gate the not gate is like what would happen with um probability it's a multiplication gate so when we are having a multiplied by b so in this case it's just as good as when both inputs are zero the output is zero and when both one is on while the other one is off we'll get a zero just like zero times one gives us a zero then one times zero gives us a zero then one times one gives us a one in essence we are saying when we design our logic gate on the logic sec um, circuit board and we are using an end gate these two feeding switches have to be on for us to get an on how do we represent the logic notation we say a and b so when we are saying a and b we are literally saying a and b using this sign some of you already know from your physics operations that a and b can be represented using this symbol but in most of the cases you are going to see a lot of representation of the boolean expression expressed like a dot b this simply means a multiplied by b so remember the truth table the output of an end gate will always have zeros and only one when both are on that is very important to remember the next gate that we are working on now is the all gate from the word all when we say all we are simply adding so when we say all in binary in terms of gates the design of the shape you see the difference between an all gate and an end gate the end gate is straight okay on on this end but the all gate will curve in so this is a symbol of the all gate how does the all gate work with the all gate we will have a one as long as one of the switch is on from the word all it simply means that when we say a all b when a is zero and b is a zero we will get an outcome of zero so because we are saying a all b if any one of them is on we will get an on as an output we get a one as long as any one of the switches is on and when both are on we will also get a one the logic notation of this gate is represented as a or b a or b this is how the logic notation is represented then finally the boolean expression is in this format a or b but most you are going to see it being represented in all computer science examinations usually they will represent it as a plus b so just remember that when you see a plus b this means a or b and it's an all gate now we are going to be looking at how the not end gate so from the word not end you should be able to guess your way not end is related to the end gate so you do have the end gate that we have already talked about then with that end gate you will put a circle at the end of this cave that will be representing the symbol so the not end gate output is the opposite of what you have when you talk about the end gate so this is like you have an end gate then next to the end gate you have a not gate so the not will simply reverse the output that was given for the end gate how do we write this we say a not end b so a not end b and the boolean expression is represented in this format x is equal to a and b like this then we put a bar on top you will remember that when we talked about the not gate we had just a bar on top of one input which could be a or which could be b but in this case we are saying a not gate then we are having the end with a bar on top takes us to the null gate this is the not all gate the not all gate we have the shape of the all gate but we'll have a circle just next to the cave to indicate that this is a knot and like i said 
not is the opposite of in this case the all gate okay so this is the opposite of the all gate so you will have your inputs for the all gate remember if this was the all gate we will have a zero and a one 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 but then because it's a not all gate we are now going to reverse that output of x where there was a zero it becomes a one and the ones become zero how do we write it this is the not all boolean expression a plus b with a bar on top that's all that you just have to remember finally we are going to look at the x all gate this is referred to the exclusive all gate exclusive all gate okay so this is the x all gate referring to exclusive all gate now with this type of a gate we will only get an on if only one is on okay so we are going to get a one if only one of the inputs is an on so this is the exclusive all gate how do we represent it the logic notation is in this format a x all b this means a exclusive all b how do we write the boolean expression this is a multiplied by not b remember this when we have a b which is written like this this is a not b so a and not b plus not a and b so we are multiplying a and not b or not a and b this is the exclusive or gate remember the truth table the truth table just is written like this and you only have an on if one of the inputs is on or is true in this case it's a one and one there then we have an output as represented in the table here now we are going to see how logic circuits work these gates which we were talking about are the building blocks of logic circuits as you can see here we have a diagram of a logic circuit we have multiple lines that are being channeled and going to a certain destination to and fro and these are going to be bringing data it could be from devices it could be input that you have pressed on the touch screen of your phone or it could be the touch screen of an atm machine or you are typing from a keyboard so data travels in these channels but as it travels these decisions based on the logic gates that we have been talking about are what makes things happen so the concept of logic gates are used in the logic circuits so you do have on and off switches which are all combined together in different gates to either run a machine or get it to stop depending on what you want air conditioners you know alarm systems microwaves all electronic devices are using logic circuits that's the reason why when you open all electronic devices there is a board in it and this board is actually made of these multiple channels that are used in terms of operations in this example we are going to see how these logic circuits work to reduce errors you are advised to put your work in form of a table like this so you will have your three inputs in this case a b and c so the three inputs will have different combinations and the combinations like we have seen are eight possible combinations we can have a zero zero and a zero then zero zero and a one so all these possible combinations that we are having where we are saying a can either be a zero and a zero and a zero a can be off four times while b and c change their positions so when we are having this now we will now start by analyzing the first gate now our first gate is an all gate because of its shape i want you to refer to um, the diagrams always because they will help you to understand in this case you have the all gate being fed by a and b because it is an all gate we are saying a all b p is the outcome of this gate that we are having here 
So in this case, you do not consider C. You only look at A and B. When A is 0, B is 0, we get an output of 0 because we are saying 0 or 0. It's 0. 0 and or 0, we have a 0 over there. Then 0, 1, we have a 1. Remember, for an OR gate, if one of them is on, then we have a 1 as an output. So in this case, we also have a 1. Then 1 and 0, we have a 1, a 1, a 1. Then when both are 1s, we have a 1. So we don't even consider C. Okay? But we have our P. Now, when we are now going to consider this second gate that we are going to be using, our findings of P combining with C. In this case, we are simply going to consider C and the outcome of P, which we have already done. What gate is this one? This is an AND gate. The difference between an AND and all, like I said, an all caves in, the AND is straight on this end. Let us see what will happen. So we are now considering C and P only. So this is P and C. So we are having 0 and 0. We get a 0. Remember with the AND gate, we only get a 1 when both are on. So when uh, we have 1 and 0, as a 0, 0 and 1, this is a 0, and a 1 and a 1, this gives us a 1. So we keep going down. When we get to the last part, 1 and a 1, it gives us a 1. So this is the layout of the gates that we are looking at. So the output of Q is going to be a 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So you can actually get a question that asks you to find the, um, you know, the output Q of this gate. So that's how you approach it. You deal with A and B using the all gate. Then you get the output P, combine it with C so that you can get Q. This is the truth table. All right. Let us have a look. For us to see the Boolean expression, you are going now to look at this. When we say Q, remember we want to find Q. So we say Q is made out of P and C. But we know that P is actually made out of A or B. So A or B and C. So we are saying A or B, then and C. How do we represent it? A or B means A plus B. And means multiply. That is and C. So this is the Boolean expression of the gate that you have been given. So you can get a question which wants you to put down the Boolean expression of this gate. So you can write it like the way it is represented here. Okay. All it can be simply the logic, um, you know, expression. You can simply say A or B in brackets and C.